Hey guys, I'm at Dynamic Earth today. My name's Arthur, and this is my rolling vlog. how things were revealed by studying the ocean. We're about to go into a time machine and it'll take us right back to the Big Bang. I'm currently in the time machine which I talked about and it's about to take us down to the beginning of the Big Bang. It's 
I also have to say it's quite cool in here as well. of Soren over the world slash Soren over California. You just imagine the Soren tune to be playing during this section. self-guided areas of Danaker. It is set up like a museum style, so there'll be loads of interactive stuff. It's a bit like a science centre, except it's all about geography rather than what a traditional science centre would be. There's a ramp here which goes over a bit of water, but wheelchair users are meant to go down this way. But as I'm in a power wheelchair, my chair can handle it. So I'll just go up here, raise myself up slightly. I'm doing this so you guys can see what this area looks like. Oh my gosh, that! I'm not even going to see what that looks like. If you're a wheelchair user, I wouldn't advise you do what I just did because it's extremely steep. So I would advise that you use the side path to get down to this level. So there's an audio tour which gives you a little bit of an explanation about the various points in here. There's also a thing where you can look through some goggles and you can see there's a wheel that you can turn and I'm currently spinning that wheel so you can see what happened, what's happened as a result of me spinning this wheel and as you can see this is telling you about evolution of, a, of an animal this area that I'm in just now has a very mild smell of the ET ride you know the forest of the ET ride this area smells a bit like it, the volcano slash earthquake section I was in. If you're a wheelchair user, I would advise you avoid being in the area where it moves because it could tip your wheelchair up. So this area here is telling you about life forms within oceans and it's also telling you how wind and waves interact with each other. This section here is about various different environments within water, so things like coral reefs, coastal waters, polar seas, and areas such as that. Also, just for future reference, if you come here and you're a wheelchair user, the doors aren't automatic, so if you struggle to open up doors, you may need something to help you open them. Well, that looks ominous. It's considerably colder in this section. Well, due in part to this huge block of ice that's here. And it's absolutely freezing. There is still much to discover about the extraordinary worlds we call the polar regions. And still much that they can tell us about our planet. 
section here is the 4D experience. Now, I won't be able to take you guys with me, but I'll be able to tell you what I thought of it once it came out. Well, that was brilliant. And they had a ramp, so if you're a wheelchair user, you could get up to where the seats are. And it's not like other 4D things, so your chair won't move, but you will feel sort of like a rumble and there's some scents blown in and some snow to see it you know, in Magic Kingdom, you know, at Disneyland yeah, so it's really quite effective I'm now going to be entering into an area which is all about the rainforest and we know that because of the right colours that you've got around the skin and the neck the oranges and blues are used to attract something and once you've got one you will keep her for It reminds me a lot of Rainforest Cafe here. Well that was awesome. And the uh, rain effect, as I said earlier, it's a bit like a more extreme version of the Rainforest Cafe. So I'm now about to enter the, sh the show dome. And this is another area where I can't film. But the show's about astronomy. So I'll let you know what I think of it once I come out. The show I saw was We Are Astronomers and what was good about it was it was narrated by David Tennant who you may recognise as being one of the doctors in Doctor Who and it was all about how our knowledge about our planet and the stars around it expanded over time and talked about things like telescopes, about how various different astronomers work with each other across the world to expand knowledge. And it was really good, and I highly recommend you see it. Now, this isn't the only show that gets shown in the show dome. There's various other shows as well. So it just depends on what time you get to that stage within your visit to Dynamic Air will depend on which show you see in the show dome. So I would check times of the various different shows so you know if you want to see the one that I saw, just check and work your tour to get to the show dome to see this particular show. So one of the things I found out when going through my tour is that they've got a sensory guide which basically means that if you or someone um, you're going with has any sensory issues, this guy here will let you know about areas that have low sensory areas and areas which, has, which could cause problems. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a guide to what various symbols mean. So this is the area that I'm in just now. This is the area where we first entered, this is the show dome. So this is the gift shop which I didn't show you. That was obviously the rainforest and all the different areas. So I think this is really cool that they've got something like this. So if you or someone you're with has got sensory issues, make sure you pick this guide up and it'll help you through the diameter and various different biomes. That just about does it for me today. I had a really good time and I certainly learned a lot about the evolution of the planet. One thing I would say was that it's not an all day thing, so don't come here expecting to be here all day. The whole experience takes about around about two hours to do, which is a good amount of time to actually experience everything. My California adventure will be returning from next week, but for now, 
it's time for me to roll on to my next adventure.